Welcome back to Huawei Decoded, a series where Huawei employees answer questions from the internet. Today we're in the Netherlands with Elliot Ford Jones, who is an advanced business development manager at Huawei Cloud. Elliot, welcome. Thanks very much. So, um, are you ready to face the internet? I'm ready and prepared. Okay. First question, where exactly is the cloud located? Well, most people would think it would be in the sky. Yeah. However, that is what I think actually. <laughs> it's really a distributed network of computing resources. Okay, what do you mean by that? Well, it's a bunch of servers that are located in multiple data centers all across the world. Okay, and what's the benefit of that? Shared resources of compute power, okay. storage, okay. memory, uh, the availability and access to all of the uh, kind of computing resources that you may uh, need for a particular project, okay. rather than having it limited to just one system. Okay, so you say it's shared. Um, why would I want to share? That's a very American question. <laughs> why would I want to share with somebody else? Why share with anybody? Um, Huawei is trying to create a ubiquitous cloud which is available to everybody around the world. So okay. sharing's caring, Zach. <laughs> and uh, the sharing of those kind of computing power or resources means that you don't actually have to have direct access by a user, mm. much like, for instance, if you're working as an individual on a computer. Okay, so you say shared resources, um, including what storage, computing, um, stuff like that. Is that secure? Like, I, I, I won't let anybody touch my computer. I can't imagine, like, having all of my data stored with other people's data, and, like, how does that work? Well, the cloud uh, covers multiple functions. Okay. Um, so, in a data center, which is, generally speaking, where we will place our servers uh, to have the connectivity with the telco providers that will allow your data to be shared, not just locally, but internationally. Mm -hmm. um, the sharing of those resources would mean that you don't have to buy a plethora of servers, firewalls, load balancers, network interface cards, and the benefit then, I suppose, is um, it reduces your capex and expenditure, for meaning that you can utilize those resources as and when you need them. Okay, so, so uh, again, back to the question then, if I, is, is it secure to have all your data in the cloud or you know mixed in with other people's resources? You will always own the data that you have in the cloud. Okay. However, each service provider has the responsibility to ensure that that data is always available and secure. Okay. You uh, could even use a cloud resource, for instance, like containers, which would allow you to offer that resource of storage of a project or uh, information pertinent to a particular person or to a particular project and you can share that within a group of people giving them authorization and access. So generally speaking in the cloud just like your PC everything will be controlled and only being given permission through authorized access. The cloud provider must retain some of that data purely for data recovery and retention. Okay, okay. So. Moving on, let's get a couple questions specifically about the company. Um, there's a lot of cloud providers out there. Um, what is special about Huawei Cloud? Um, what's special about Huawei Cloud is we offer everything as a service. Uh, everything as a service? Everything as a service. When I say everything, everybody, I mean the infrastructure as a service, the platform as a service, and the software as a service. Now, opposite to cloud, you can have an on-premise solution, which means that quite simply, you as the user would be responsible and control everything. Okay. However, utilizing the cloud, you can have, I'll make the pizza analogy, you could have on-premise, which means that everything you are responsible for. So using the pizza analogy, the table, the drinks, the ingredients, the chef, the oven, everything. Okay. However, if you would then prefer to outsource some of that, in other words, you don't have the appropriate uh, supply of goods, you can use infrastructure as a service, which would basically mean that you're outsourcing the kitchen. Uh, platform as a service, you're outsourcing the chef. Okay. Or software as a service, you're outsourcing everything and you're dining out. 
Okay. So in other words, Zach, we offer everything as a service. Literally everything. Literally everything. Um, as I'm going to hold you to that. Well, no, I can give you clear <laughs> examples. Okay. I mean, one of the services that we've been offering recently that's made a huge change in weather prediction. Okay. We're using Huawei AI technology mm. to provide a better predictive model. In other words, we're not just using the old mathematical models, we're using AI models to predict the future, to be proactive rather than reactive. For different industries that we're working with, we target the media and entertainment industries and we have a plethora of offerings or resources available specifically to broadcasters. Okay. We work within the gaming industry, so if you're online playing in a casino or blackjack, you want to have the same experience as somebody who's playing the same game no matter where they are. Okay. Now I'm hungry, thank you for that. Um, so there's a lot of uh, questions about you know security and reliability out there. This is a Google question as well. Um, and you can interpret this in any way you want, because uh, there's really no context to the question, but is Huawei Cloud reliable? One of the um, main reasons that I could say that we're reliable is we offer, by contract, a 99.9% .9 service availability. Okay. I've mentioned already that our users want to always have our data uh, to be always available. Mm -hmm. But as you're mentioning and as our audience is asking, is that data secure? Mm -hmm. I've also mentioned in my answer that we work together with international global partners. So the responsibility is not only ours. Each of these international well-regarded organizations also has the responsibility to help us to secure that data and to always make sure it's available to our customers in the cloud. Okay, so it's like a shared responsibility model. Indeed. Okay. Say, yeah. So service providers, partners enable us to provide cloud services with 99.9% .9 availability to our customers. Okay, and our final question today, who owns what's in the cloud? Each user, you, owns all of your data. Okay. However, the service provider, like Huawei, needs to retain certain limited data for backup and recovery purposes. Okay. We don't own that data, we have access to that data. Mm -hmm. So as an example, when you're signing in to your uh, email accounts, mm -hmm. every single time on whatever device that you're working on, it always asks you to put into your password. Okay. We need to retain that password data to allow you to access it, but that's the only data that is retained and it's cached and it's not available because it's encrypted to Huawei. So the only user that can use that data will be you. Okay, and, and I'm gonna ask this again because this is a big thing in the news these days and stuff like that, but can a cloud service provider, say I have you know, my files in the cloud or whatever in the cloud, could they, without my authorization, access that information? No. The permission has to be granted by the user. Okay. The service provider will only retain and cache the data for two reasons. Backup and replication. Okay. That's it. Thank you very much for your time today, Elliot. Appreciate the time. Thank you very much, Zach. Yeah. And to you guys out there, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next episode of Huawei Decoded.